Okay, so you want me to help you find uh, the women in the Bible who made more money than men? Girl, don't even go there with me. First of all, the women in the Bible didn't work sometimes. And I know that the Proverbs 31 woman had nine jobs and all that kind of stuff. But as I said in my video, back in the day, women did not have the same rights that men did. And so today, in 2021, in America and across the globe, women are presidents and doctors and lawyers and engineers and chief executive officers. We are running countries. We are running planets, it seems like, okay? So today, in 2021, in America, if you want to be in a happy, healthy relationship uh, with a man and you are a woman who makes more than most of the men that you meet, then you're going to have to figure it out. Now, it's nice for you to say that um, you are okay with being alone and you're going to wait until you find uh, somebody who makes more money than you. Then that sounds like you might need a little bit of more studying in your Bible. I don't know what Bible you are reading. And here's what you're not going to do. You are not going to take the Bible and beat me and anyone else over the head with it. What I am saying is treat people how you want to be treated. What I am saying is um, I love my man and he loves me in an Ephesians 5 and 25 um, every day and in every way. And the fact that I make more money than him does not change his manhood. The fact that I make more money than him does not change his integrity in Christ. Uh, and it does not change uh, the fact that I love and depend on him. That's what I'm talking about. And I am not going to let the amount of money that he makes or the amount of money that I make interrupt my happiness and my freedom. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about living for real in a real situation in today's time. Now, it's great for the Bible, and I believe the, everything that the Bible says, but you have to have wisdom to adjust and be able to apply uh, biblical principles to your life today. In Jesus' name.